Thank you, Nick. In Porterville, city crews are working to create a shoreline on a stretch of the Tulare River to protect several homes. Action News South Valley reporter Eliza Navarro continues her steam team stormwatch coverage with more on the progress they're making and the high stakes for people who live in that area. I'm on Plano Bridge right now in Porterville, and we want to give you a different perspective of the work being done by city crews. This stretch of the Tule River is near Rio Vista Avenue. Several homes were impacted in that area, and the public works director tells me they've had to prioritize this section, and nearly 7,000 tons of dirt and rocks have been placed to again protect these homes. <laughs> The Public Works Department in Porterville is fighting a battle against weather, flooding and erosion along the Tule River caused by storms in the last two weeks. Since March 8th, we've had staff actively working in flood fight management. Uh, we've been in preparing sandbags, like I said, uh, staging pumps and localized flooding areas. Despite the heavy rain throughout the day, Porterville City crews were working all day long to establish a shoreline to protect several residences from falling into the Tule River. Truckload after truckload, roughly 8,000 tons of dirt and rocks were placed along Rio Vista Avenue, but Michael Knight says the work is far from over. This is going to be a long-term project. There's going to be a lot of mitigation have to occur up and down the river channel. Uh, this is not the only issue we're dealing with. William Vickers lives along the river and says he's worried about how much water will be released from Lake Success, so he prepared by filling about 50 sandbags at one of the Tulare County fire stations. If the lady goes on that side when they release more water, then I'm going to protect my uh, in-laws property. They're in their 70s. They're, you know, they're handicapped. And basically the, the levee has took a beating on that side. Tulare County Fire says the community of Springville near Porterville has been evacuated and urges everyone near rivers to stay on high alert. Yeah, just be vigilant. Watch the uh, rising waters uh, if you're in an area near a river or something. Just And if there's an evacuation order, get out. The residents who had to evacuate their homes several days ago are still not allowed to make their way back. City crews are going to make sure that the shoreline is strong enough and they want to wait until the storms pass as well. But again, city crews are not only working on this area behind me, but several other parts of the Tule River. In Porterville, Eliza Navarro, ABC 30 Action News.